My name is Richard Duran Johnson. Uh, they call me RJ Jazz, and my website is rjjazz.com. And I started playing piano at the age of five. My father plays, he's a gospel pianist, and he also plays organ. So that's where I actually started playing, started playing at home. So I used to hear music late at night, go to bed, and my father would be playing. I'd wake up, and he'd still be playing. And then once I got in middle school, I started playing trumpet and baritone and trombone. I had great teachers, and they were very helpful. I'm still good friends with them today. Um, I call them or email them just to check in and see how they're doing. And, you know, Mr. Dunn and Mrs. Dunn, how you doing? Mr. Brubeksky and Randy O'Keefe, they really helped me out a lot. At the time, I didn't know they were great jazz fans. Uh, the first school I was at in Pennsylvania, Bill Brubeksky was a... He still is a trumpet player, big jazz guy. So I was learning a lot of the jazz style and didn't know it. And then when we moved to Boston, the next school I was at, the band director, he was another jazz fan, so he had a huge collection in the music room. So I decided to go to Berkeley, and that was two weeks before. Uh, I hadn't applied at the time in high school. I was working as a piano tuner, as an internship. So I'd seen a lot of the teachers, and a lot of teachers thought I went to the school. But I was actually working there doing an internship. And I went to the dean, Dr. Carter, and I said, Dr. Carter, I want to come to your school. What do I got to do? And he asked if I applied. I said, no, I was going to go to another school that gave me a scholarship. And he said, well, do you have a tape or anything? And I said, actually, I do. And I pulled out a tape. Bam! <laughs> and he was like, okay. So I gave him the tape. He said, I can't guarantee you anything, but, you know, it's two weeks till school, but I will we'll let you know. And they actually sent me a letter, and they said they accepted me, and they gave me two years. And I was like, wow. So I took it, went to Berkeley College of Music, and started hanging out, and I got serious and was practicing, going to school, and met some great guys when I was in school. I was ready. And then I moved to New York and ended up playing with Irvin Mayfield and recorded a few records with him and we traveled around the world, Brazil, Europe, Germany, Austria, you name it. Did that for about a year and a half and then I got the call from Wynton Marcellus. So Irvin really prepared me for that and then I played with Wynton Marcellus. You know, I met Wynton a bunch of times through my roommate Ruben. But then when I got the chance to play at Winton, I was with Winton for about three or four years. I had a house in Atlanta. I decided I wanted to put together a jazz hip hop project. So in Atlanta there was lots of hip hop guys, but I found some guys who played jazz. And I formed this program called Afar Enterprises and the outreach program was called Reach Afar. So we did a bunch of high schools in the southeast. And we go into schools educating young people on 
the music that they're hearing on the radio stems from jazz and certain elements. So we did that for two years and that was very successful and we became the band for the NBA actually. And we did that for two years. I was a musical director for the Atlantic Hawks. <laughs> I think it's important to know for young people that, you know, whatever you decide to do, whether it's music, whether it's science, whether it's math, you know, just be disciplined about it and do it with the, your best ability. Be into it. You know, if you're not into it, then you probably won't last at it. Mm -hmm.